And Mark, Puget Sound is where we could actually see some tsunamis. It could be locally generated by the Seattle Fault that runs across Puget Sound. Tsunamis that come in from the coast generated by magnitude 9 earthquakes here. And as you'll see, there's evidence of tsunamis in Alaska that have struck here. This is Discovery Bay near Port Townsend. Last year, we followed scientist Carrie Garrison Laney. In these mud banks, she points to sand layers generated from tsunamis off the Washington coast hundreds of years ago. But she has also found sand from someplace else not nearly that far back. That from a giant Alaskan earthquake and tsunami in 1964 centered near Anchorage. That quake, a magnitude 9.2, the second largest ever recorded. A quake that actually caused more damage and even death in Oregon and California. With that kind of history, it was no surprise that Alaskans headed to higher ground last night as tsunami sirens blared after a 7.8 earthquake. That's a big earthquake, but by the nature of the quake and its size, it did not trigger a tsunami. It's, it's a, a largish earthquake, but it, it, in, in tsunami uh, generation world, it's, it's not very big. Paul Bowden manages the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network at the University of Washington. Like 1964, this most recent quake happened in the Aleutian Trench, but hundreds of miles further west from 1964. It's a busy area for big quakes. And like the Aleutian Trench, the quakes happen when crustal plates under the ocean are locked to a land-bearing plate above and suddenly give way. And the greater frequency of these Alaskan quakes helps scientists understand the signals to look for before the next one strikes here. So that allows you some predictive ability about what, what we expect from the next uh, plate boundary earthquake here. But our world in Western Washington is not static. Even as I am speaking to you, the land here is being pushed a little further east and a little higher up because of the pressure that's generated between those two crustal plates. In Richmond Beach, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.